Hello everyone, today at Science Academy, we are going to learn about malwares. Uh, what malwares are, how many types of malwares are present uh, in the internet. So we are going to know uh, all about them. <coughs> so malwares overview. Uh, what is a malware? Malware is a malicious software that harms systems, steals data or enables unauthorized access. Uh, types include viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, and rootkit. It spreads via phishing, malicious sites, and software vulnerabilities. Prevention uh, includes updates, strong passwords, antivirus cautions, download, and backups. Protecting uh, systems require required uh, awareness and proactive security measures. So malware can spread uh, via you know websites. Uh, a legitimate software, a uh, phishing link maybe or a file that was sent to you uh, by phishing and so virus can spread like this. So types of malware we have viruses, worms, trojans, botnets, ransomware. So all of these uh, all of these malware are different from each other. Let's read about viruses first. So viruses attaches to file and spreads when executed can corrupt or delete data requires user action to spread. So once a virus uh, will infect uh, in your computer system, it will uh, spread itself. It will make replicas of itself by attaching into the system's DLL files and you know it can corrupt or delete the all the data which you have present in your computer system uh, so yeah and viruses specially requires user action to spread so if you will be double clicking on any file or a link virus will start spreading okay. then you have worms worms are self replicating and spread without user interaction exploits vulnerabilities in networks now worm is a independent type of malware it is very independent once a worm enters a network you don't even have to uh, do any kind of interaction with it you know you don't even have to open a file or click on a link if worm has entered the network it will roam around within the network on its own it will maybe replicate itself or maybe it will not replicate itself but it will move around the computer systems and the network and worms do not require any user interactions then you have trojans uh, trojans are disguised as legitimate softwares it creates backdoors for attackers it doesn't replicate like viruses so trojan can be uh, you know if you are downloading a cracked version of any software from inter in in internet uh, maybe it has some kind of trojan in it and you know it will it will uh, create a backdoor for the attacker so that he can access to your system and yeah that that can be done by using a trojan then you have botnets uh, networks of infected devices controlled by hackers used for distributed denial of service attacks spamming or crypto mining now a, a attacker who has access to thousands of computer systems uh, and he has created a botnet so all the infected devices which he is actually you know controlling will come under his botnet network and he can use this for distributed of denial service attack uh, for spamming emails uh, he can maybe uh, try to mine some crypto cryptocurrencies using uh, his botnet so yes then you have ransomware, encrypts files and demands payment for decryption, commonly spread via phishing or exploit kits. So ransomware are actually a type of malware that is currently running one of the most, uh, you can say, critical or dangerous malware present on the internet right now. Ransomware has actually affected so many uh, businesses and companies and they had to pay millions of dollars so just that they can uh, get back the files uh, you know uh, uh, unencrypted by these ransomware attackers now uh, let's uh, see uh, uh, an example of uh, rat so i have a rat present uh, here with me I will click on builder 
maybe this rat this this rat should actually work let's see stop okay okay my defender is actually not allowing this rat to work and it it has my defender has actually deleted it let me see i have i have some more options okay all i think now let me try this danger edition of angerat and i will be giving my loop back ip address so 127.0.0.1 and no i don't want to restart it right now and i will add this and i will be building a server in my desktop okay so these type of executable files can be sent to you over the internet and you know you will have access to that victims computer system okay. now to bypass antivirus you guys will actually require cryptos and the crypto should be private itself okay so i can now see defender is uh, defender will not allow to take access even though i have closed everything the firewall virus protection yes i think virus and threat protection is on off yeah Yes, these things are off, oh, and my firewall is also off. But I don't know how Defender is able to do that. you can do some other things as well uh, you know maybe access the microphone of the person or you know maybe uh, get the remote camera on of the person's laptop of the victim's laptop so you can do all these things and i think i will not be able to display you guys or show you guys how this is working because i don't know why my defender is off but it is still you know not not getting getting me to to do the things i want to do let me delete these folders and yeah i just wanted to show you guys an example of you no know, malware and yeah that's it i think mm, yeah we did vulnerability analysis and we did used uh, we did system hacking as well Yeah, yeah, yes. Malware is the topic which we are doing right now. So, if you if you guys uh, you know like this video, you can give give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can comment down comment down your doubts, or if you want to add something related to malware or any other topic, you can comment it down easily. You can share it with your friends. You can subscribe uh, to our channel. And yes, guys, thanks for watching.